Hello everyone, this is Ms. Smith. This week's assignment focuses on visuals and document design. And for the assignment, you'll have to create two different types of visuals. I want to show you in Word where you can go to help you create those visuals. So for your first assignment, you're pretty much redesigning something so that it looks a little bit more um, user-friendly. Okay, that's that hand washing document. So you can use a blank word document for that. Just remember what the book has talked about with headings and spacing, um, font usage. Make sure that the document looks good when you're finished with it. it looks like something that somebody would want to read. Okay, and the second thing um, that you have to do is you have to create a flow chart. Let me just show you where some of the graphics are located in Word if you're not familiar with that. So when you go to the insert tab, you have a whole menu of options here. The first one we'll look at is chart. So when you click on chart, you see it gives you a, ver a variety of different types of charts. Um, some that we haven't covered, some that we have. For example, pie charts, bar charts, line graphs, all of those things. And so let's click on pie for example. When we then click on this option, it appears in our Word document. And from here, we can go in and put in numbers and information that would affect the pie chart here, okay? And so if you were doing a pie chart, that's something you can do, and this is just an example to show you how you can use the options under the chart heading, okay? Um, and so Smart Art is another option. You may wanna look here for your flowchart. They have a process option here. And just keep it simple. There are some pretty complicated options in this, um, but you can keep it simple. Click OK, and then this kind of gives you an already designed flowchart. You can add more um, elements to it, but when you click on it, you can add text to it, okay? And it should be responsive, so if you needed to type more, it should shrink down the word some. You don't want to put too much in there. You want to make sure that you're keeping it simple so that the reader can, can actually read what's there, okay? But sometimes students just choose, and this is perfectly fine as well, to create their own flow chart, okay? And you can do this by inserting a text box and then inserting a block arrow and just kind of creating it on your own, okay? And so let's just say you want to learn how to scramble eggs. You can go to insert, and let's say I'm making a flow chart about this, insert text box, and we'll just do a simple text box, okay? We're going to drag it, and then you can fill in the text here with something different, but just set it up initially. Um, hit enter a couple of times to get my cursor down there. Then I'm going to hit insert again and I'm going to go to shapes and under shapes I'll do a block arrow. Okay, And then once you select that you have to hold down the shift key and the left um, button on your mouse and drag and then it will create an arrow for you. Okay, and You can resize this to make this a little bit smaller if you need to. Um, and then you can go back in again and add another, or insert another text box. See what I'm doing? And so you can put information in a flow chart that way, okay? Um, and just continue on um, with giving your instructions from, from there, okay? And so hopefully one of those ways will be helpful for you, but if you do have questions, please let me know. I'd be happy to help however I can. Have a great day.